We turn now to the big story election day in Metro Detroit. Voters heading to the polls to decide on some very important issues. Everything from marijuana to mayoral and city council races, funding for schools, roads, police and fire services, all on the ballot. And tonight, one city in Metro Detroit is making history. East Point is rolling out a first of its kind voting procedure. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel is there live. And Brian, what are voters telling you? Hey guys, well, some tell me that they were prepared because they heard about this before. Others say that it was very confusing. Either way, based on the lack of voters you see here behind me, it probably won't take too long to tally up the votes. How did yeah. it go? It was very easy. Uh, confusing at first. It was good. These East Point voters are talking about seeing this on the ballot. Four columns for two open city council positions. Why? It's called a ranked voting system proposed by the Department of Justice to settle a lawsuit against the city that alleged the voting power of black residents in city council races had been diluted. And the information campaign that the system, modeled after similar voting methods in these cities, was coming, began long before today's election. We have been working on educating our public for at least four months. Reaction to the potential multiple rounds to choose the first two city council members to get just over 33.3% of the vote, mixed. I was prepared when I went in there. It was very, very easy. Yeah. Did it feel a little different, though? A little bit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the first time I've ever seen it, and um, it was just uh, uh, confusing at first. And some voters speculate turnout could be impacted evidence by this time lapse over the noon lunch hour. We're the only people I see here today, so that's kind of upsetting. Go vote. I don't know if they're maybe intimidated by it, thinking it's new and they're scared. I, I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but this is the lowest turnout I've seen. And we just checked just a minute ago, about 150 voters have come through this precinct out of the registered 2,430 voters here in Precinct 12. But the city does tell us that about 4,000 absentee ballots went out. So still unclear just how much turnout there will be as far as when we'll know the results. That will happen sometime tomorrow around 5 o'clock. For now, reporting live, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. And we'll see what the voters say. All right, Brian, thank you.